Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Craft the World. And on this episode, we're going to continue where we left off. As you can see, we've been digging over here mainly for the iron, and we actually still have quite a bit of iron left over here in this little area. Unfortunately, a lot of our recipes that we need to actually upgrade uh, to get to better stuff requires silver. And I haven't really been able to find very much silver, so what we're really going to do is just get ready for the next wave which is going to be coming here pretty soon. So we're going to go ahead and start putting some more of these traps down right over here. There we go. And we're going to have to replace the roof because they keep digging through it. And I was thinking I might even expand it to two layers rather than just one uh, because, yeah, they, they just keep digging right through. It doesn't seem to really matter to them. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and chop this stuff down right here. We'll put these here and they should be able to get to it just fine. Now having this chopped down means I can put another layer uh, right here, which is going to be pretty nice. Uh, as soon as they're done picking up all this junk. Let's see, here they come. So let's see, can we put a portal over here? Yes, we can. So we'll chop these down. Because they'll have to remove the traps so that I can put more dirt down. And then I can put the, the traps down on top of that. Now the reason we want two layers on the top is so that the big guys can get down here. If the big guys can't get down, they just stay up here on the top and they don't really do anything. And, and we do need to kill them so that we can get their loot because occasionally you will use that for stuff. So we don't want to seal that up, otherwise we lose the portal. We've actually done that once by accident. We've had uh, dirt and stuff fall down on top of our portal. It closes it up and you lose it. And that just, it really sucks because you put you know power into making that portal and then when you lose it completely I mean it's just it's not something you want to do so let's get rid of the scaffolding so we can put down one of these things and we'll put down over here as well so they're filling in pretty good now I could do this all myself and do it pretty quick as well but uh, for now because our guys aren't really doing anything else and the the fights coming here pretty soon I figured I'd go ahead and hold off and let them do it so let's put another portal right here. Where are these guys going? I guess they're going to put uh, traps down. Wow, he went all the way down here to put a trap. And this guy's coming from the other side. Two of these guys are coming from the other side. So they do actually judge how far away they are from the portal and decide whether they should use the portal or not. So you may actually have to use two or three portals if you're doing a huge area like this. But, man, look how fast that thing's going by. The more they go through it, the faster it goes away. So, <laughs> let's put, uh, we'll put a portal here so they can get to these traps a little faster. Unfortunately, I have a lot more traps that I need to make. We need at least uh, four more traps just for this wave alone. We do have some wood. I don't want to waste too much of it, though, because we need a lot of it to upgrade. So let's do 10. And that should be enough. Put them here. And they're still coming over here. Now, I put this block of stone down so they wouldn't dig through the corner block. But I think if this works, I can get rid of that. And they don't really need it. Uh, but again, I won't mess with it this turn. Here we go. So they're doing a pretty good job with these traps. Let's see how well we're doing over here. Is anybody making anything? No, they are not making anything at all. So let me go to my my research and I'll show you where we're at. Now we need to actually do our expert weaponry because we can't do anything until we get that. Basically, if you look at the arrows, uh, once you unlock your, your expert weaponry, you have to go to gold working. And once you go to gold working, that pretty much unlocks everything else. That unlocks uh, luxury decorating, as long as you've already done your master decorating. And from luxury decorating, it goes to engineering. And from engineering, it goes to master alchemy. So you can't even go into the next uh, skill set, which is the mithril stuff, until you've done this entire row of stuff here. Which does kind of suck, because that, again, it forces you to do decorating, which, you know, for the most part... Almost nobody would really put any effort into. I could actually see very, very few people going past the first stage of decorating if they weren't forced to, just to get to the better stuff. And our ultimate goal is to get to this Tesla Tower, so yeah, we do have a little bit of ways to go. And unfortunately, 
Uh, to do that, we need silver, and we just don't have any to speak of. So I can buy it from the, the market, or I can find it. So that's what I've been trying to do, is just finding the stuff. Now, let's look at the clocks. We need to... Let's see if we can make some of this stuff. Uses a little bit of silver ore. Uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and try that. So let's do silver and a little bit of iron and then a whole bunch of wood. <laughs> and this will make a a clock, which I think they just uh, get comfort out of. We'll, we'll check that out here in a second. This is comfort 10. I think that's the highest I've seen for a house item. A massive floor clock for interior decoration. When it says it's a massive floor clock, I'm thinking that it's going to use up a lot of space. So if you look right here, it tells you 18 is how many I can actually make with all the items that I have. You have a little handle over here I can actually move down. So now I'll make 10 of these with just one click, or I can bring it down one more and I can make 50 with one click. But again, 18 is the max I can do, so I don't want to do that. I want to bring it back up to one. And basically just make it into this yellow part right here is as maxed as it can be. So one more, there we go. And that should level us up with that skill. Uh, we still need to find some silver though, unfortunately. That sucks really bad. And let me go back to the clock. Where's the clock? Uh, I don't see, oh, it's furniture, that's right. So, clock is right here. I'll drag it down here so that they will put it down, or I'll be able to see when it's done. They still have to make it. But now that I can see when it's done, I can put it down and get the, the bonus uh, comfort rating. I'll probably put it over here if it's too big, uh, because I really don't have very much space over here. I need to fix my base, expand it a little bit, make uh, make some more rooms, but there's really not a whole lot of space I can do that. Maybe right over here. No, I don't want to do that right there. Right here. So we'll do... I guess we'll just do it as high as possible. Right there. And this is basically just going to be so I can put some more stuff down. Uh, we'll have to put some more rocks here to seal it off. Uh, unfortunately, that means I have to dig further out to over here. Oh, I'm going to lose my swimming pool. I guess it's okay. And we'll continue to put these over here. We'll have to move our light gonna go ahead and remove the wall lamp and this right here and I am getting a little bit of lag right now and I'm not quite sure why <laughs> let's go ahead and see if we can fix this sorry about that guys I actually had to uh, to stop playing for the day because my complete or my computer was completely filled up so I had to uh, stop playing so I could actually convert some of the fires files over to a smaller size because fraps makes them huge and so it takes a while to do that but we're back and we're gonna go ahead and finish off this level. We do have a a wave incoming in 10 minutes. So I'm not sure where we were right before we left so I kinda have to give me a few minutes to get back into the swing of things but I think we're gonna go ahead and finish off this section over here first before the wave gets here. Oh look at there's some coal over here. It was actually behind one of these normal panels of wood or not wood but uh, dirt. So remember to always check that stuff. It's not only good for the resources you can get as far as the gold that occasionally falls from those things, uh, it's good for pretty much everything. I mean, it really, you can get some really cool stuff, so let's put this up here. Uh, we can't really use this, so let's go ahead and take these down. Let's see, is he going to put it right there? Yes, he is. So now they can at least get up here. A little bit easier for him, a little something for him to stand on. Uh, I think we could put a portal down, so let's do that. Uh, where do we want to put that? Let's put it down here. That way they can get to it a little faster. And as soon as... I guess maybe I could take over one guy and put the the blocks down myself. In fact, I may do that. Let's go ahead and select Dwarf. Control. Let's put these down. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. And the reason I'm doing that is because if they have to do it themselves, they have to make several trips, and if you take over the dwarf... Uh, let's see, what do we have in the tech tree? So we finished off Master Decorating. And we need to do Expert Weaponry still, so we need more silver, which we haven't been able to find. And silver is pretty much the, the linchpin. Without silver, we can't do gold working. Without gold working, we can't get to a Luxury Decorating. And without Luxury Decorating, we can't get to Engineering, which is kind of where we want to go. 
so that we can get to the mithril stuff. So yeah, we do have to get some more silver, which means we're going to have to dig a lot further down. Uh, but that's something we're going to do after this next wave. We're going to see how well uh, this wave does. I think we have all our stuff set up for it, though. So let's... No, we don't want that. Let's put that back, punk. In fact, let's put the, the walls here as well. Release that guy. We can put... No, oh, don't do that. <laughs> I keep clicking on things I don't want to. Keep uh, putting things down, too. So let's let's put these over here. And chop that down. Oh, stop that. Come on. <laughs> I'm clicking all over the place today. So these guys are headed upstairs, which I guess is okay. They're going to finish that up. Now my traps. Okay, my traps are good to go. We can take these things down. I do have a few more up here. And they're going to have to have to get rid of this snow first before they can put traps down on that. And I think my, my guys over here have finished. Yes, they finished over here. They could put a few more traps in there if they really wanted to. But this is where it's going to fall. And somebody fell down over here. <clears throat> it looks like... Uh, yeah, it looks like maybe a Yeti and a couple of skeletons fell down over here. So I need to replace that with traps really quickly. So let's put these down. It's one of the things you have to worry about when you put traps down is you just never know who's going to show up while you're gone and, and really kind of mess things up. So we're going to have to make some more traps too. Hopefully we got some wood. Yeah, we got a few pieces of wood. So let's see where our traps right here. Let's go ahead and finish making off probably another, I don't know, man, 10 or 15 of them would probably be okay for now. I don't want to use all my wood, but we definitely want to put those down. And this right here, this is going to be the test. This is where they're going to fall, all the way down here. And there he is right there. That's that's the guy who sucked all my resources. And what they're going to do is either they're going to try to climb out over here, or they're going to go down even deeper and fall down in whatever kind of pit is over here. If they dig their way out, they still have to come over here and somehow climb up all this way to get into my base. So pretty much if they fall down on the right-hand side, uh, they're they're out of they're out of mind, out of sight, and out of the game because they're not going to be able to do anything. Uh, so we're going to try to get as many kills as possible though with the traps, just because we want the resources. We need those those resources from the the enemy. So it's not like we want to keep doing this so that we don't get anything, because we want the experience, we want the resources, uh, we want uh, to kill those guys. But we just haven't really had the right makeup to do it. We've been too weak and, and too busy doing other things to really concern ourselves with that, so yeah, it kind of sucked though, but let's put these over here just in case. You never know. These guys tend to roam around and go in weird directions. We still have six minutes left, so let's see. What if I got in here? Let's look. What can we make? need to make the silver that's right so we're just gonna dig for silver I do want to finish this little area off where I combine this entire area into one giant uh, farming for these uh, little bugs and stuff like that but I need the silver to be able to do that so we're gonna hold off we're gonna put another portal down because I need it and then I'm gonna come down here I think on the next I think we're gonna go deeper but I don't really want to go too deep because then silver stops spawning this is mithril and silver should be above mithril, so I guess maybe we can head in this direction. Because there's a lot of the map we haven't seen yet. You can see it right there. There's, there's a lot, so I think we're going to head further over to the left. Um, just trying to figure out how deep we want to go before we head over. If we want to start all the way from the top and just head down over here in this direction, which we might do, that might be the best way, is just to, to start digging straight down over here and start a whole new tunnel. Let's go ahead and pick this stuff up. I don't think we need this over here anymore. At least not for a while. There we go. A lot of scaffolding. Yes. We got coal over here. And remember now that we can actually uh, make our own coal. So it's not really that big of a deal uh, to, to run out of it now. Because all you need is wood and dirt. And you got plenty of both. You never run out of dirt. And wood is a renewable resource. So We have some iron over here as well. Which we definitely want to get eventually. Uh, in fact... Let's see, minions. We'll cast one of these guys. Too far explored area. There we go. So hopefully these guys will pick up everything in this area. Don't want it to go to waste. Uh, nothing too hugely important though. But these guys are incredibly nice to have for stuff that's scattered all over the place. If you have pieces of wood out here, just one or two, they'll go over there and get all that. If you have stuff in a huge 
you know, grouping, not so good. You should use the portal and let your guys go out there and get that. But let's see, so we have four minutes left. My guys aren't doing anything. So I will tell you guys to go out here and start mining then. If you guys want to uh, sit there and do nothing. Uh, let's see, put that here. And we'll start digging down. Now I'm going to do a couple down, I think. I guess we'll do all three. We'll do all three of these down. And I'll just put scaffolding down and we'll just keep going straight. There we go. <laughs> so let's put a few of these. As I said before, I love, love, love my scaffolding. I don't think I could play the game without it, to be honest. It's, it's too nice of a thing to have. Wow, he's chopping through that stuff fast. Where's he going? What's he doing? Uh, he's getting confused. He doesn't know what he wants to do. And I don't know why he's the only one. I mean, there's tons of guys that could be coming over here and helping him out. And he's the only one here, so... We'll see. What's he doing now? Oh, this is freaking me out. I don't know why he's doing it this way. <laughs> You know, if he comes out again, I'm going to select him, and yeah. I'm taking over. Yeah. Nobody else wants to collect? I'll collect. There we go. Now we finally got somebody else coming over here. I don't know why they weren't coming over here before. Maybe it's because they already had somebody, and now that I'm controlling them, uh, it doesn't seem like such a bad idea to have more people. Okay, so he's still freaking out. They, they keep going up to the top and coming back down. If that's going to be the case, I may just chop that that area down as well to stop them from doing that. Uh, it's kind of weird. I've never seen them do that or act that way before. Come on, guys. You can chop. You can chop if you want to. You can be my friend of mine. <laughs> if you guys haven't heard that song, it's amazing. Uh, nice 80s song to go ahead and listen to. Climber's Book. Increases the skill at moving vertical shafts. Let's see. We need more more scaffolding. Uh, we're going to go ahead and break into this. We need these, so we, yeah, we definitely want that. More coal. Holy crap, I probably shouldn't have bought nearly as much of the coal as I bought. Still have 2 minutes and 40 seconds before the next wave. Can I do all these? Yes, yes, yes. It's hard to see the rock behind it, but my guys are going to drop off here in a second. I don't know where they're going to go, but they're going to go falling straight down uh, into some water. Wow, look how deep that water is. That's pretty nice. So I think I think we're going to keep that intact, actually. Kill it. Let's put another portal down. Wow, that's pretty deep. Look how deep that is. Uh -oh. Holy crap. You guys are just running down here and jumping down here like crazy. Oh my god, they're going to kill themselves. Okay, so there's two minutes left. Let me select somebody. I need to send back the people who need to sleep. Uh, no, actually, you needed to go back. No, you're fine. You're not. Holy crap. You're almost dead. You need to sleep. And I'm doing this just to be safe, because you never quite know what's going to happen. Uh, you know, what kind of attack you're going to get. I know they do get harder and harder with... Uh... Go to sleep, man. Can he not? do nothing. I, I guess he can't go to sleep. I, I know one of them needs a bed. So maybe that's the guy who needs the bed. So you guys are fine. Actually, you're not. And he won't go back at all. That's weird. He's having some issues there. Let's go ahead and put these things down. Now, I don't know which way we want to go. I guess we're going to go around it because I want to keep this intact. Uh, it's just going to slow us down a little bit to have to dig. Let's uh, let's get everybody back to town, guys. We'll come back to this after the fight. And they still haven't found any silver. That sucks. And there's this huge area right here. So yeah, it may be worth it for us to dig to the right over here somewhere. And then come down this way. And then maybe go back. Because yeah, we kind of have to dig to the left as well. So either way, we're still going to be fine. We still have more to explore. And here's our fight coming in pretty soon. About 48 seconds. I kind of wish there was a button that I could tell all my guys just to go get some sleep. Just in case, you know. I mean, uh, if I could do that, I would just do Rusty Helmet. How much does that heal up for? Three armor. That's the one I have right now. Dude. Two. So it's actually better than what I have. And he doesn't even have a helmet, so let's give that to him. Wow, why does he not have a helmet? 
Uh, these guys all have... Uh, he doesn't have a weapon one. Do we have somebody with a bow? Uh, no, miners, loggers, millers, hunters, climbers, swimmers. So we don't have one for a bow, unfortunately. We do have the archer's glove. I don't know why I didn't give that to him sooner. So let's see. Sharpening stone, grinding stone. Give that to him so he hits harder. That does... Uh, increases the efficiency of swordmen. And I think that counts as a steel club because you're using melee. I think that still works. Uh, I don't know for sure, so if you know that's uh, definitely not how it works, let me know that. Give that to these guys. This increases the efficiency of archer skill. So we definitely want them to have that. And normally you can have them have big backpacks and things of that sort, but uh, when the fight comes in, it's usually a good idea if you take a minute and just make sure everybody has uh, something to help them out. Because if they fight and they win, they get better and better in their skill, which is ultimately what you want when you go down to take out the Guardian, because they're all going to have to fight for that. You can't really drag them to an area where they can use little guard towers and things like that for their their benefit. It doesn't really work. It's, it's really, really hard to, to move them from where they're at. So uh, you need to go sleep. Can you not? There you go. I don't know why you would be over here and not sleeping. I know I told you to go back to the base, but still... You're sleeping, you're not... 25 seconds doing nothing, you're sleeping. Nothing, nothing... Doing nothing? No, you need to go sleep. What on earth, man? I told some of these people to go to sleep, and I know I did. And yet, they're, they're not all doing what I tell them to do, so... It's kind of frustrating. Okay, so, what about food? Are they good on food? No, they could use a little bit more. Uh, probably... I could put down a little bit more of this, but they probably want something else. Uh, here's the wave, and it's going to come on the left-hand side. Which is not exactly my strongest side. I was kind of hoping they'd come on the right-hand side, to be honest. Left side is nice with all these mines, but they do go through them fairly quickly. So, we'll, we'll see how this works, because... Again, this is going to get more and more of a wave uh, as time goes on, so we may be outmatched here because I haven't really expanded this area in a while. Let's see, so they're going to dig through. Even with two layers, they're digging through. I thought maybe that would stop them, but I know three for sure will stop them. But again, if we do three, they won't be able to get underneath this, this shop because I can't move the shop. I can't pick that up and take it somewhere else, so we'll just have to keep replacing this dirt. And at least I know that from, from now on. And if I design something like this, I'll redesign it so all this goes down a little bit further. Let's see. How far are they getting? Not very far. Is it still coming out? Yeah, they're still coming out. Well, and some of their friends are coming to help them out, too. People who weren't even part of that wave. Not really getting that far, though. Not yet. These ogres go guys are incredibly strong. Look how many times it takes on these traps. The same thing as these yetis. I'm tired of these yetis, man. <laughs> they are... They are a freaking nuisance. Here they come. Here's the rest of my dudes. They're bad guys, I should say. Uh, they're still coming. They're still coming out. Holy crap! This is gonna be a big wave, guys. Let's let's bring my dudes over here, all of them, just in case, so that uh, yeah, if they do get through, at least some of my guys can fight them off. And it should take them a little while to get over here, though. I'm getting some pretty good experience, though. About 100 points of experience per kill. That one's 40. Uh, these big guys, though, let's see how much they are. One more hit. 60. So the big shield guys are 60 experience. Let's see, what about that guy? That guy's 80, so the builders are 80 experience. I wonder why they're more than the uh, the shield guys. I know they're a nuisance when they build stuff. I wouldn't... And the zombies? Seriously? Are 100? I don't I don't think that's right. That's, that's kind of messed up. I would think the shield guys, who are stronger and harder to kill should be worth more than these little tiny green zombies. Like, watch, when he dies, he's 100 points. See, that's 100 points for that guy. And for this skeleton, how much is it going to be? 40. So for a skeleton with a shield and, a, and an axe, you get 40. But for these little tiny crappy zombies, you get 100? That that's, doesn't really make a lot of sense in my, my point of view. So let's come over here, guys. Let's uh, release the beast so you can get in here. Attack! Let's put these here so you can climb up a little easier. And we'll put a portal here. So when you're done, you can at least get back to the base. Oh, and here comes some more. I think that's going to be the end of the wave, though. Yep, that's the end of the wave. I kind of wish, and it may be a lot to ask for, but 
if they could create an easter egg that was an entire level so that you could actually have uh, your guys rush up to the portal and enter it and then like go into like this weird like almost like a dune level where you or doom I should say where you go in there and, and start fighting and stuff oh none of my guys are gonna die are they? wow my guys are getting the floor wiped with them I was not expecting that come on kill them don't die get out of there oh yeah this is I am so glad I set this whole thing up and didn't didn't try taking these guys on come on let's run back get out of there because they can barely handle these guys. I can't even imagine what they would be doing against all these little tiny dudes. Uh, I don't think they'd handle it very well. I think they would all die. Which sucks because that means I'm not doing it right. <laughs> I need to upgrade these guys. Go to sleep. You're collecting resources? No, you need to go get some sleep. Oh, wow. That guy. That guy is something else. Nothing. Going to sleep. Yes, you need to go to sleep. Sleeping. Good. Good. No. Why are you collecting resources? Seriously? I understand you're an idiot, but, I mean, when you have no life, you're still collecting resources? You think at some point they'd be like, no, 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 I think I'm going to go to sleep for a while. I'm almost dead. I don't really want to die. Self-preservation kind of thing. And it should be such a hassle to get them to stop sleeping. I think that's the way it should be, rather than almost forcing them to sleep. Uh, because they don't know any better. So these guys are actually almost dead, but I don't want to try attacking them again until all my guys are, are full life. Because, again, if they get skill, in fact, I can go in here and go into equip. Uh, he's a swimmer and a miner, so he doesn't even have his weapon skill. I need to get more of those. But if they have those, they actually level up. So let's see if anybody here, miner, no, he's an archer, and he's up to 13. So he got three points in that fight. Uh, this guy's an archer, and he got three points in that fight. A uh, warrior got, uh, I don't know how many points he got, I think four four points. Because he started with ten from the book and got an additional five from the statue. And so yeah, an extra four points. Yes, I think I'm going to get a few more of those books. Uh, and then have my little minions come over here and grab them. So let's see. We need to get books, 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 books. Where are they? Where are the books anyways? I thought they were on the last page. Not there. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, so I need the warrior one. Right here. I need to buy, say, six of those. Need a few more of the archer's books. And we'll do a few more miners, just to be safe. Then I'll put my little, my little guys here. And these guys are wonderful. Wonderful little dudes who help me out so much. Love having them. <laughs> And the reason I didn't put my regular guys is because I don't think they'd survive the journey. They try to do something stupid, like come over here and take these guys on. Uh, and that doesn't work out too well. So let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight guys are sleeping. We have one, two, three, four up. And they're full life. So four guys. Okay. Have they finished getting all this? They haven't come back and, and gotten the rest, so they must be... Okay, so they just got back. Let's go ahead and go into the equipment stuff. And we'll see if we can make sure everybody has what they need. So you guys are fine. You're fine. You need a bow. So let's see. Do we have a bow? There it is. Give you archery skill. You're fine. You're fine. You're not. No, you're fine too. You already have that. So let's see. Who doesn't have this? Uh, you need a melee. Give you that, punk. So you're the only one, huh? So I bought way too many, <laughs> which is okay, because I'm sure we'll lose some uh, here in a bit. These guys are still alive. I wonder why. The other ones have disappeared, the eyeballs. And uh, we need those. Well, those are really, really hard to find. So let's go ahead and clear the lockout. Tell our guys to come back and attack. Attack! And it's our bowmen who are going back. So let's see if their skill goes up. Probably should have done it when the guys weren't walking this direction so that they could have a a little bit easier time getting up here to attack, but if you can attack from down here, that's pretty good too. What are you doing, man? Get in there, kill him. Oh, the the bowmen all by themselves are not a good combination. You need a melee guy to take the taunt, the damage, while they sit in the back and just you know pummel these guys away. 
but he seems to be doing pretty good running away. He's not taking too much damage. As long as he has the same direction to run into. I don't know what he's going to do now. He's going to run past him, I'm sure. Let's see if he does it. No, he's going to sit there and take the hits. I guess because he realizes he doesn't have anywhere else left to go. Okay, here goes all my other guys. They're finally showing up. Oh, he's almost dead. Get out of there. <laughs> Get out of there. What are you doing? Don't stay there. Seriously, you're the you're the least likely to win, and you're the last one to leave. That's some guts, man. These guys do have some guts. I, I give it to them on that. I don't really see their skill going up, but I think it I think it is because it did earlier. So let's go ahead and put a portal here, guys, because you're gonna have to come back and put traps everywhere again. <laughs> Which seems like it's getting old, but I, I think it's still kind of fun. I, I still like it quite a bit. Nope. Oh man, look how much friggin' dirt they they picked up. That's a lot of friggin' dirt. Okay, we'll put that here. Now we'll put some scaffolding so they can get up there to do that. And the same thing over here so they can get up a little easier. And look at all this snow. Man, I, I tell you, I'm gone for like five seconds, and this snow just continues to fall and just get in the way. It's it's pretty nasty as far as it just takes up a lot of your time trying to get it done. Let's put this in here. We need to make a lot more traps. And we'll use all the wood we have and then I'll go out there and get some more eventually but for now I don't think I'm going to worry too much about it. So let's put these down. Come on guys. Traps everywhere. And over here. Okay there we go. That should be pretty good I think. And they should finish that fairly easy. I'll probably have to put another portal up here. So let's do that now. Put a portal there. And that way they can they can teleport to either one. This one doesn't have a lot of time on it, especially when you consider, you know, four or five people coming through it. It takes away, you know, five or six seconds every time. So, yeah, that, that can wear away really, really quick. So at least this way we can get some more berries. Yes, we definitely need more berries. Can never get enough of those things. They're used in the potions, and they're they're just really hard to find because I don't chop too much snow down because I pretty much built my level so that I didn't have to worry about the snow too much, <laughs> which is kind of the way I like it. So uh, let's see. Can I take one of these guys over? Select dwarf control. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that is so I can put this stuff down myself. Put this here. Jump up. There we go. Put this here. Boom, baby. Yes. And it would take so long waiting for these guys if, if I had to wait for them. There we go. And I can even put traps down. Because I am skilled like that. I just pull it right out. You know, he's hiding it all in his pocket. It's one of those games. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys ever played Simon the Sorcerer way back when. On the computer in like the 80s. But he made a joke about that too. Where he pulled open his pocket. And he stuck a ladder down into it. Because in the old games, it didn't really matter. You know how much uh, you know space you had. You could just pick up everything in the kitchen sink, and sometimes, and sometimes, you actually did pick up the kitchen sink. It's crazy. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool that they do that nowadays. Where they try to keep it realistic, but occasionally, occasionally they miss something like this. So I'm not uh, I'm not giving them crap for it. I kind of like it still, but it definitely uh, is kind of unrealistic that, that that can happen. So let's let's put a portal. No, we're gonna tell you guys to run back. I'm not gonna waste magic on that because you need to come over here and finish up your hole. So let's let's put a portal right where do we want. I guess we put it right here. And then we can start digging over to the side. Going three layers high. Again for doing that is so that you can have uh don't have to worry about things getting in the way when you start building your your tables and things of that sort if you do manage to use it for anything like that. Now it's going to take a while for any of these guys to show up because they have to travel all the way back to the home base uh, and basically then go through the portal. But this is tons and tons of fish. This is pretty cool. I may just go ahead and send some guys down here uh, to to go fishing quite a bit. No, don't do that. Go fishing. I think they go fishing until it's over, until they have no more fish to go to. So we're going to try that and see how that works out. He's still getting better at mining, which is ultimately what you want. You want these guys to be maxed out on that skill. I completely, you know, bypassed the first time I played. I didn't even think about doing that. And since I've started doing it, I think it's been leaps and bounds uh, better for my guys. And they're actually digging through a lot faster than, than I would normally see, so. 
Let's go ahead and see if anybody else shows up. I don't know why it's just him. It's the same way it was earlier until I took over the guy. Oh, there we go. Somebody else is showing up. So I'm going to take over this guy. And I'm going to go ahead and mine for him. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't know why my guy just sped up. In fact, he's still sped up. Wow, he's just busting through this stuff. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> and his skill's going up. Yeah, that's the way we want it. Let's keep going. Now, the reason I'm doing the top and not the rest is because they can handle the rest. I want to come over here and expand it a little bit to see what we're going to get ourselves into uh, why they're taking care of all that. So we're going to go... I guess we're going to go a little further. Get some of this sand. Now, again, if you're standing underneath the sand when it falls, uh, it actually breaks up into little pieces that you can then just pick up. So keep in mind that if you want the stuff, just stand right underneath it like that. And you'll basically get it. See, So it stops you from having to uh, mine more and things of that sort. So let's release this guy and finish digging up all these little bricks. And tell these guys to do some more. Ah, they got a book over there. Let's see, what do we got? Logger's book increases the speed at which trees can be cut down. That's, that's okay, we can deal with that. So let's start heading back down again, guys. Go ahead and pick up all of this. No. We need to put some lights down. I'm forgetting to do that. Let's put some right here, right here, and right over here. Now I need to put some scaffolding down for that. And we need to put another portal down. Along with some more lights. Uh, I guess we don't really have to put them in here. I, in fact, I kind of don't want to. I want that grass to grow in, and reseal it so that no more snow gets down here. Uh, although, the snow really wouldn't be that big of a deal because there's water, and that would just refill it back up, so I guess that wouldn't really be too horrible for that to happen. Let's get this scaffolding. Okay, so we don't need this here. <laughs> and the Yeti, man. Those Yetis. They will not leave me alone. They they are uh, they are buttholes, man. <laughs> I hate to say it, but they are some of the the biggest nuisance I've had in this game so far. Okay, you guys are getting better at mining. Just what I like to see. Go ahead and put some more scaffolding down. I need to go ahead and put some lights down over here as well. Keep up with it as it as they they dig, because we don't want to let them get too far down. Uh, why can't they do this one? There you go. Do that right there as well. No, we're gonna run out of here. How much more do we have left? Three, two. There we go. Okay, so finished digging, guys. There's a lot left. Need to put another portal down. No, they still got one. Ah, uh, there's some more coal, which is good. I uh, don't really need a whole lot more than that, but we got tons of iron over here, so we're definitely gonna go after that. We're really looking for silver, though. So that's that's our goal. Uh, let's go ahead and keep going this way. And, oh my god, more over here too. So, I guess let's head this direction as well. Just to get underneath this water so that we can keep digging uh, straight down. And I do want that crystal, so we're going to dig this way as well. Let's stop right there. For now, anyways. Until they finish. And we need to put another portal down. Because I think all our guys are... What are they trying to do? Are they trying to walk out? No, they're not. Where are they going? Oh, all our guys are over here. Should have put the portal down here now that I think about it. Let's get this stuff. Need to put some more lights. Man, they're digging so fast. This is this is why I have that skill. This is when it really comes into play. I, I see those plus min mining all over the place. <laughs> Man, it's too much coal. Stop it. This is going to be a freaking huge hole. Uh, we'll keep going down over here. Uh, grab that, too. And it looks like there's something over here. That bug that bug nest, we kind of don't want to break into that, so we've got to be very careful with that. Uh, this guy is awakened, and he's digging. But I think we're going to ignore him. What are you doing over here, man? You're just sitting over here, chilling. Not doing anything. Taking up resources. Let's put this down. Oh, we got a book. Mage book teaches you how to turn flies into elephants. I wish that was the case. I wish, wish the mage was that talented where he could turn guys into weird stuff. Uh, I know they can turn them into bunnies if you have the potions, 
that actually seems to get in the way more than not. What it does is right before they die, like they still have to attack them, but right before they die, uh, it turns them into a bunny, which means you not only have to fight the enemy, say a guardian, but right before you get the loot off of the guardian, you know, you're still going to get the portal spell, but you're not going to get anything else. Right before you get the loot off of the guardian, he turns them into a bunny. And then all your guys stop attacking because they don't auto-attack bunnies. And if you tell them to kill the bunny, you only get the loot that the bunnies drop. So yeah, I mean, it's nice that it makes things easier for you, but not very much. I mean, it's literally right at the end of the fight that any effect that you're going to get comes into play. And it, basically the effect is you're going to miss out on loot. And to me, that kind of sucks. I mean, it, it, it's not a loot-driven game, but I still would like it. You know, I still like getting the stuff that I, I need so I can make some cool stuff and, and progress a little further, deeper down, a little easier, you know, building tracks and things of that sort. Uh, I can do without all of it, but I prefer not to if I have to. Uh, if I can have it, not have to, so. Okay, so lots of iron over here. Uh, I need silver. Give me some freaking silver already, guys. That's all I want. I just need to progress a little deeper, a little deeper into the the dirt, and hopefully we can find it then. Uh, let's go ahead and put some more torches. Uh, we're running out of scaffolding to help this up. I don't think we're we're gonna have to get rid of some of our scaffolding so we can. Do we out of portals? Yes, we are. So let's put one here. Not enough power. We'll fix that. Right there. Now we have enough. Now you're playing with power. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you guys are climbing out? Seriously? Trying to, anyways. Okay. Put this up here. Put that light down. Okay, you guys are doing fine. You're doing fine. Uh, what if we put this here? There we go. What about up here? We need to put some lights in here as well. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff. More coal, more coal. Why did I ever spend any money on that? Uh, who is it? Oh, it's one of those little bugs. He made his way out. How did he make his way out from in here? Did he teleport? Like, how did he... Oh, no, he was up here. That's right. I thought he was down here. I thought there was one in here. There might have been one in here, too. Okay, so you're going to keep going three down. Uh, we don't really need those, but we want to keep keep digging. And the silver literally could be just right outside my range, and I would have no clue. You're just going to have to keep progressing and hope you find it. So I don't want to make this video too long, guys, so I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Again, if you do like these videos, uh, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow my channel, and I greatly appreciate it, guys. Uh, let's see where am I going to put this over here. Uh, yeah, we're good there. And uh, if you have any tips and tricks you want to leave, uh, make sure to put those down in the description box below. And I'll make sure to pass that on to the viewers on the next playthrough. So again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.